Early demolition stages have begun for a blighted Albany structure that's been a hot topic of debate for years. The Heritage House is finally coming down. Fox 31's Jessica Fairley connects us to more on this story. When word came down that the previous owner of the Heritage House hadn't come to buy back his property, Oxford construction contractors set into action, clearing out small homes on the land, then moving to the main structure. The main building itself, uh, they've initiated the asbestos removal, which has to be done before demo, and then they'll move immediately into the demolition process. During this time, Oxford will retain ownership of the property. More than 75 percent of materials within the building will be recycled, while the rest will be discarded. Officials say they're also looking out for the safety of the public as they go through the cleanup phase. They put the plastic up to contain the air and the contaminants within the building. They create what's called negative pressure, where in essence no air is pushing out of the facility. This move lowers the risk that residents will be infected by contaminated air. Officials estimate that all demolition will be done by the end of September. Contractors say when they're done, the building that stands behind this fence will be gone. They say what's left will be a lush plot of grass like this that the city can make a profit from. We're hoping to pass that property on to a developer, someone who could come in and put some retail uh, space there, something to generate some taxes, create some jobs. The city estimates they'll spend $1.1 million acquiring the land from Oxford in October. In return, they hope to make at least $300,000 from a sale. We like to recoup back as much as we can. We have certainly had interest already. I would not be able to disclose that to you. Smith says selling the property would bring in tax revenue to the city of Albany, Doherty County, and the Doherty County School Board. Jessica Fairley, Fox 31 News.